Mm -hmm. um, how many projection have we learned so far? We got a uh, hair with projection. Just talk a little bit about it, about sugar. Um, was it Newman projection? Now another pro uh, projection we have feature projection. Okay, so uh, Fitcher, he's um, a German chemist, got a Nobel Prize in 1905 or 02, about early 1900s. Um, from the discovery of Fitcher esterification, you learn that in uh, gen um, no, organic chemistry too, the next class, and um, yeah, like you have a whole lecture for that uh, for that reaction. It's really really uh, helpful. Okay, in terms of making an ester. Anyway, so Fitcher was um, uh, dealing with um, compounds with multiple chiral centers. For example, glucose. How many chiral centers are there? One, two, three, four. There are four total, right? And to draw like wedge and dash line, we just too many of them. So he um, proposed a more convenient way to draw out uh, sugar molecules. Okay. So instead of right here, so we have an aldehyde group. So an aldehyde group from the top. We have one, two, three, four that have an OH group on it. So one, two, three, four, and then CS two OH at the bottom, right there, right there. Okay. So it looks like a fish bone. <laughs> so feature fish bone. Look, look something like that. All right. Now let's talk about the <clears throat> um, the feature projection real quick. Okay. So you're gonna see the two line horizontal and vertical. All right. And the meaning of it is right here on the horizontal line is pointing towards you, both on OH group and the hydrogen point, pointing towards you, and ethyl and the methyl pointing away from you, all right? Which means that when you uh, determine the configuration ROS, you probably have, you have to, uh, to flip whatever you get, right? For example, all right, let's do, um, do configuration right here. So we have an o, uh, oxygen number, number one, ethyl number two, methyl number three, and hydrogen number four, all right? If you rotate like this, so one, two, and three, you, it will look like R, you have to flip it to an S. That's it. That's how you do a feature projection, okay? We keep things simple there. All right, feature projection is uh, very convenient in terms of helping you determine R, or not R, uh, the stereo relationship of multiples. Um, with a compound with multiple chiral centers, okay? I'll give you some example here. So this one got to uh, all these stereoisomers. So they are stereoisomers, okay? And each one of them got two chiral centers. All right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna determine ROS first, all right? So oxygen is one, um, both are carbon, but this carbon connect to chlorine, so number two, chlorine with connect with all, with all hydrogen, that's three, and hydrogen is number four, all right? But don't forget that uh, on feature projection, the horizontal, uh, horizontal line is pointing toward you, so you have to flip your uh, configuration. So one, two, and three, looks like R, flip it to S, okay? All right, come down here, same thing, we got chlorine here, so chlorine gets number one, now, this, this is carbon, this is carbon, so carbon with an OH, number two for sure, this is carbon with a three hydrogen, so carbon with an OH, beat the other one, so two and three. Hydrogen is number four, but right now number four is pointing towards you, so watch out, we're gonna go one, two, and three, looks like R, flip it to S, okay? All right, <clears throat> here's, a, here's the reason why feature projection is more convenient in terms of determining the configuration of all the stereoisomer and also uh, determine the stereo rela relationship. I'm gonna show you, okay? <clears throat> all right, we're gonna talk, uh, take a look at the uh, configuration of this, this carbon, this uh, chiral center. But you don't have to do it because on the left side, it's S, O, H is on the right side, see that? Hydrogen on the left side, if this guy is S, this guy gonna be S. That's it. Super simple there, all right? Now, come down here, chlorine on the right side, chlorine on the left side, so this switch, right? So chlorine left to right, and hydrogen from right right to left, S gonna flip it to R. This guy gonna be an R, right? So if you don't believe me, let's do one together. So chlorine is one. Now we got carbon and carbon. Carbon with an oxygen, number two. Carbon with three, hydrogen, hydrogen number three. Two and three, okay? And hydrogen is number four, all right? So we're gonna go one, Two and three looks like no, no, looks like an S. Right, it looks like an S. You have to flip it to R. 
That's it, right? Now, no more do configuration here. You can just look left and right, right? Like, com just compare the config configuration on the left to all these molecules, all right? All right, look at this um, this carbon right here. OH is on the left side. OH on the, oh, oh this one. OH on the right side is an S. OH on the right is an S. If OH on the left side, is an R. That's it, all right? Now, come down here, chlorine, uh, same side, all right? Same side, so this is R, this is gonna be R. Okay. All right. Last one. That chiral center O is on the left side. O is on the left side. R gonna be R. Chlorine on the left side. Chlorine on the left side. S. Put an S down there. Okay. All right. So this is super simple. We have with uh, very convenient in terms of um, uh, uh, figure out the configuration of these chiral centers. Right. We take like just just a minute, a couple minutes here. All right. Now. It's even easier to determine the stereo relationship. Look at right here. OH on the right, chlorine on the left, right? Or, <clears throat> uh, it's enantiomer. All of it's gonna switch. All the, uh, groups on the chiral center will switch. OH on the left, chlorine on the right. These two are enantiomers. Okay. Now, do, uh, right here, OH on the, uh, OH on the right, chlorine on the right. OH on the left, chlorine on the, on the left. Enantiomers. That's it. Right, and we got the diastereomers right here and diastereomer right here. Super simple there. All right, that's how we how we use the feature projection. Very, uh, he's a very smart guy and come up with the the um uh, feature projection. Okay, uh, let's go to the next video.